This is a bit of a long intro, so feel free to skip to this timestamp. Let's take a dive into the alien infested ocean of planet 4546b and go back to the good old days of 2018. Subnautica has to be one of those games that will always hit you with nostalgia every time that you play it. The story is perfect and the environment is just even better. This game, oh look how nice it looks. Back in 2018, this game was by far the best. This game might be the reason why I actually have a fear of the ocean. I mean, I would never venture far and would always go back to base at night time. This game, it's terrifying at night. I wanted to make a longer video that you can either watch or just let play in the background, so that's why this video is extra long. And, channel announcement, I know I have like 420 subs and like 10 views in my last video, but whatever. I made a goal for myself last video, and then immediately went on vacation and didn't upload, so oops. Anyways, this intro is already way too long, so let's just get right into it and dive into the open waters of Subnautica. It feels so good to be back playing Subnautica, I cannot lie. This game, back in 2018, that's when I was playing this, oh it feels so nice to be back. We're just gonna load into a simple survival world, we're gonna start the series, maybe, I don't know. I'm probably gonna play for like 4 hours and I never touch this game ever again for another 3 years, but <laughs> we'll see what happens I guess. Attention. Open up your little Alright, we're playing Subnautica again. Hell yeah. Uh, this is. This game should be a lot of muscle memory, probably, so. Who knows? You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Alright, This PDA <laughs> has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive. On an alien world. Please refer right. to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, well. Here we go. It's the button 2024. Oh, this game is still looking at it. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. <laughs> Zero human life signs detected. Bruh. That's nice. <laughs> this basically feels like I'm playing this game for the first time again. Like, I don't really remember half of the story, but alien life I am just talking to go. Here. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. You're gonna hear me clicking so much trying to grab this fish. <laughs> Come here. Did I just drop one and pick it up? Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible, detecting sulfur deposits That's in the nice. local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component oh. of the repair tool, oxygen. I kind of forgot about the crash fish, so those things... Good thing I saw that little critter, or else I, you know, would have been scared out of my mind. I'm also already drowning. <laughs> We're fine though. We're fine. Uh -oh. oh, where'd you even come from? Where? What? Where the hell did you come from, bro? What? What's that? <laughs> oh, is that you? What the f you are though. Holy! Oh, hey there, buddy. Uh. Oh. 
Ah. Alright, thank you. Much appreciated. Lead, hell yeah. Alright, let's see if I actually remember how to craft and all that other stuff. Because I should probably make like a better O2 tank. I should make... Come here. I should make the scanner thing, make a flashlight, make all of that. Actually, repair tool. How do I make that? <laughs> That's probably the thing I should be making, but whatever. So I actually only need a battery and silicone rubber. That's not horrible. I remember how to make most of that, so... Alright, so for the scanner, or for the battery, I need those mushrooms, the acid mushrooms, and... Oh! Holy loud! Damn! <laughs> Now, we go make a scanner. And we can scan shit. Because that is exactly what I want. <laughs> Come here. I'll scan ya. Hell yeah. Actually, I, I didn't even look if I could make a better O2 tank. I kind of just, you know, <laughs> didn't. Self scan. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. And if you weren't like me and already played this game for 80 hours, you would have been like, what the hell does that mean? But, yeah. <laughs> the game's been out for a long time, so. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Well, isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> so they removed all of our useful shit. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I can probably. <laughs> should probably use this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Oh yeah, that's right. We're advancing. This is an alarm. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? Well, that's nice. So we're alone. And yeah. <laughs> holy planet, by the way. That's a holy voice crack. But holy planet, by the way. Silver-based wiring kits are an essential seconds. component of many habitat modules. Remember when I actually first played Subnautica? It probably took me like an entire like eight hours until I actually built my like first ship. Oxygen. <laughs> this game, I don't know. We might have our full base done by the by the end of this. Oh, I might be dead. No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey there, buddy. I remember you. You little son of a bitch. That's right, I remember this biome. This is the quartz biome. <laughs> As you can find them all over. Hell yeah. Oh, forgot about you, though. Uh, why does everything in this game want you want to kill you? It's actually insane. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Oh, a life pod. I won't go to that life pod just yet because you know we want to we want to play the game in order. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Is this? One hundred meters. Okay. We'll scan it. Hell yeah. All right, now we already have the mobile vehicle back. That's actually nice. Holy oh, thingies! Why are there so many? And they're all the mobile vehicle bear. Oh, it takes uh, some titanium. Thirty seconds. Maybe something different. Oh. oh, I'm getting pushed by a you. Are you trying to bite me? Oh shit! What the hell?
Oh. <laughs> What's this thing? <laughs> it's just... Okay. Hey there. Ooh, you can't go inside. Ooh, what's this? Hell yeah. Oh, that's actually nice. Hell yeah. We got one of the stasis rifle fragments already. Nothing useful in there. What's this? Oh. Oh, no, that was a battery thing. Okay, well, that's useless. Right, I'm telling you, if this thing down there is another one of the useless little things, to hold on. Vehicle bay or whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not gonna be happy. And I'm not happy. Alright, our inventory is full anyways, so we gotta go back. So, we just got a new radio message. And if you're not an OG like me, who has played this game long enough to where I should have finished it, but still haven't. Then, you would know that is whenever life pods or some useless story. Yeah. You have to go to it. You want to investigate. So, we're gonna go over there. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright. New mission. Oh, yeah. We look like over there. It's actually way over there. Alright, I definitely didn't uh, know where it was and just haven't been going over there and that's why I was over there. But, oh, what's that? It's actually a wreck over there. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> Integrating new people. Really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. The builder, two is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Alright, but... So, what we can do now, now that we have our little buildy thing, we're just gonna build a simple one. I guess... Whatever. How much titanium do we actually have? We have a decent, decent chunk. We'll build a little platform. Make it face that way. And then we'll do our start of our base. We'll probably have an overhang or something over there. But, gee, would it be smarter to do this? Because then you technically have more storage points. If you do it like here, then could you expand? You could not. Okay. Well, if you do it here, could you expand this way? You cannot. Could you expand? Okay. <laughs> you just can't expand. Alright. I think that might be something. It's just since it's not built, it's not like letting me, but whatever. <laughs> We're gonna move the platform higher. Move it to like there. Build this there. Put a hall door here. Put another little thingy there. Hell yeah! Look at that. Got a little base. You have to put solar panel on top. Make it face. Like, oh, face it like that. Ooh, we also got another message. Oh yeah. This is not needed. I still have any more base build and stuff, so that's fun. Alright. <laughs> Let's see. What did we get? This is 
Flight Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate Process. transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, that actually might be the same wife pod that I saw earlier. <laughs> that is, that's actually really funny, but we'll make our way over there. We'll gear up as well. I'm also just gonna fabricate all this stuff. Alright. I also just made the little, our little speedy thing. Oh yeah. Alright, before I do any more investigating, I'm gonna wait for the sun. For the sun? Whatever, I'm waiting for the sun to come up. <laughs> Which, actually, it comes up very quickly. Oh, the power's also on. It's <laughs> so down here. I want to see... Uh, where's... Oh, great, I got rid of my building tool. I want to see... What do I need to do all of these things? I need one table core sample. For you, I can build. So we're actually gonna do that. Yeah, I just have a radio call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> there we go. Nice and organized. <laughs> yeah, I don't really feel like organized any of that, so I'm just going to toss it all in there. And that should be good enough for <laughs> storage for now. Alright, so we're going to first swim on over to... I want to say it's... Actually, it might be right near this guy. It's that first one that I saw. I think that is the one that the image is relating to. So I could have just gone there. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh, I saved it for when we get the call. Oh no, it's this one. Okay, then I have no IQ. No, I have no IQ. What the hell did I even just say? Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. 30 seconds. More importantly about this cave, that's like one of the easiest places to get diamonds around here, so... I'm gonna quickly snag some. Hopefully. I'm probably gonna get, like, blood, but whatever. <laughs> Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. <laughs> you will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Oh hell yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, don't you love them big companies? <laughs> We're trapped on an alien planet all by ourselves, and they still want the little diamonds that we just found. Ah, uh, what a good company that we work for! Holy. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. I don't think there's anything else right by the entrance here, but... Quantum detonation. That sounds interesting. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, there's the first Seamoth uh, fragment. <laughs> oh, we turned around. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Take you. Oh yeah. All right. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. 
mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. <laughs> I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Uh oh, I might be. This <laughs> is nope. We're fine. Oxygen efficiency decreased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize this thing here. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not at all prepared to explore that. I didn't probably should get the sea moth first. Actually, there might be fragments of that around here. So we're gonna investigate. Oh, <laughs> I see one. Oh, shit. No! 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 Oh, we survived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, the, bro, <laughs> bro, what the hell's happening? Right, let's go, now we have the sea moth. All right, that's actually kind of huge. Sea moth is probably like the best vehicle, just because. But, oh, come here, Reggie, Reginald, come here. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a vending machine. We're definitely going back down there. There's a vending machine. Actually, I have to swim. I have to swim 50 meters in two seconds. Actually, zero seconds. Ooh, bro. <laughs> surprise, surprise! I almost drowned again. Now let me scan up my vending machine. I'm definitely building this in the base somewhere. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Emergency. Oh, what? Has occurred in the Aurora's drive oh, the hang on. Hang on. Critical state. Minus ten, Whoa. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. God damn. <laughs> Look at that. What a detailed ass moon. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Well. <laughs> this is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Ooh, Sunbeam. Okay. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Yeah, we're kind of all dead, besides me, so. <laughs> yeah, f you. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to doing stuff. All right, we got a lot to craft, so. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I don't think I have one of those things. I think I already used the old crash thing. So, that's not good. And two glass. So, we're born. Need two diamonds. Which I actually luckily have just two. Need battery, lead. Need batteries. Just one. Yeah. Need fiber mesh. I don't know how to get that. <laughs> I think I do, but I don't really remember. Alrighty. Time to go out investigating for the rest of the stuff. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That was comedic timing, I guess. Oh, there's another down there. Come here, buddy. Damn. You still got me. Alright, well. Oh, inventory full. Oh, there's another? Holy... There's so many in here. 
It's down here. <laughs> there we go. That's one. And now we got the high capacity O2 tank. Ooh, holy oxygen. 135 seconds of oxygen. That's nice. We also have the laser cutter, so now we can go over to the other place that we were at. That big ship area, and we should be able to do more in there, hopefully, maybe. Probably not. I'm gonna pin that. Maybe ten. We only have four. So one wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We already have a lubricant. We just need the whatever this guy. Two batteries, one silicone and rubber. So yeah, I'm kinda of thinking about games to like play. I feel like honestly, next episode probably not next episode because I don't really know when I I don't really record often. <laughs> so but I think next video I'm gonna try and play Slime Rancher. Because that game is an absolute blast from the past. I remember playing that, like, when I was in, well, that came out, like, 2017. So I would have been, you know, still in middle school and all that. I would have been ripping that game. That would have been so much fun back then. It's probably still going to be fun. Who knows? Slime Rancher video. That might come out. Who knows? But, we got the meal, the meal, the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got the mobile vehicle bay. I also, like, when I said mobile the second time, but <laughs> oh my god! Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alrighty. <laughs> Actually, you have to release it. Wasn't that fun? We'll go in a little bit deeper water. Right above all these guys. Yep, thank you, buddy. Throw that up here. Climb up that. And what do we need? Ah, <laughs> a nice easy recipe. Thank you so much. Uh. Alright, we already have another message. Holy. Mother? This is Officer okay. Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Oh, nice. Transmission <laughs> origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, we got two of them now. That one's 300 meters. Do we have another? Aurora, this is oh, Sunday. Okay. Again. We just picked up a massive debris. Yeah, at your location. half of us are dead. I didn't know how <laughs> bad. <laughs> how many of you. I, I didn't know. I think all of us are dead. I'm We're the only survivor. Like, We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Yep, you're gonna bring me home. <laughs> what else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, alright, but so are all the others. Alright. <laughs> Story. I don't really know. <laughs> alright, time to go investigate more stuff over here so I can find all the resources needed because this game is excellent actually there's a cave somewhere I don't remember where it's right here this one actually has a lot of stuff in it and there's also this stuff and there's like stuff all around it oh yeah I kinda just need everything right now I didn't mean to do that, but I have W Walker. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they put the thing in the correct center of it where you always are trying to cloak, but whatever. <laughs> w Walker, hell yeah. We have like nothing in any of our stuff anymore. Any of our stuff anymore. Holy English, the 
Time to go get lube and to get some silicone mesh and to get fishies because I'm about to die of dehydration along as everything else I'm about to die from. Holy maneuver. <laughs> get back over here. Actually, you can also now catch peepers way easier. Or way easier, Lee. Holy English. Come, come here. But those peepers are kind of nasty. When you pair these little critters with salt, that stuff that I have not already been grabbing, <laughs> the stuff, and you can go down here to cure food. See, look at dehydrated, but keeps well, so it keeps it longer, so it's like better. Oh, I'm t I should probably drink water. <laughs> All right, stop taking damage, okay? Holy. Bro, I just did. <laughs> Alright, I don't really need the radiation suit, though. <laughs> I don't really know why I spent the time getting all that stuff. Still gonna craft it, just because, but... I don't really need it, need it. Alright. Moment of truth. Is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. And... There she is, hell yeah. Oh, it feels nice to have this thing. Alright. So this one they showed us before, so let's just immediately head right over there. Shit, there is a huge crash. Oh! This is where the life pod is. Okay. <laughs> I'll take this, why not? I'll trip this. Ultra really glide fins, hell yeah. Hey! Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we oh, can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. New Ooh. Acquired. Oh, yeah. Oh, even better. New blueprint acquired. Oh, we only need two? Let's go. We can charge our small batteries now. That's actually, that's actually kind of electric. Oh, do I? Do I have that? I do. I came prepared. <laughs> I definitely did that intentionally and just didn't have it in my inventory. Hell yeah. Alright, before I go in here though, I'm gonna replenish my oxygen because I'm not gonna be dumb. No. <laughs> the amount of times I've died in these ships is actually insane. <laughs> actually, it might be better if you go over here. This one. That was a door right here. I didn't add all have to cut him. Oh, there's also this. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, you can't get out here. Okay. What's this? Okay. Ooh, modification station. Alright, alright. Another one? Hell yeah. You only need three. We need one more. Another propulsion cannon. More batteries. Don't do it to me. Don't tell me that there's only two modification stations. No! No! That thing actually would be so nice to have. Alright, so we can't go to that because I don't have the radiation suit. <laughs> because I'm an absolute and didn't bring it. But... <laughs> Whatever. We'll just, you know, go other places. Oh, I think this video, you're probably going to realize, it's a little bit longer form. I kind of didn't edit it as much. I mean, I don't really know. I probably didn't, knowing how my editing is, but when I say that, I mean more, it's not quick cuts, it's not all that. It's more of a storytelling type edit. You know, it's that longer frame and all that. I don't know. I'm trying to like test all these new edit styles and everything, so that's why every video kind of looks different. 
some of them just aren't edited out like at all as I spent three hours on the intro some of them the intro was absolute dog shit and then the video itself I spent a whole three days editing so <laughs> but, but I don't know the channel it's like still new and everything I'm still newish to YouTube so I mean the goal for summer is obviously to have a bigger channel but I also said that my upload schedule would be better <laughs> than I took a two week long vacation so yeah that was nice <laughs> but anyways and if I remember this guy the one that we're going to he is the one that is like really far down <laughs> that's I mean it seems obvious because that's what the thing says but you know yeah Ooh, what's that How close am I to like everything? Oh, that's just real goddamn nowhere. Okay. But what did I see? Oh, there's a thing right here. Oh, I'm running into shit. Or he's running into me, I don't really know. Alright. Actually, we never we never listened to this one. That's right. Where you get a photo, I guess. Okay. It's a small little one. Small little crash area. It's fine. My inventory's. Actually, we should probably collect both of those. Come here. Where'd you go? Oh, wait. Stop rolling. Go over here. Where did the other one go? That one's lost already. I can tell. <laughs> There's no way I'm finding that lead. Uh, yeah. Now my memory is so bad, I don't even know where I broke it. I don't even know where the titanium went. Oh, it's right there. Oh, is that the one? Holy, I am built like that. Oh, it's right next to the titanium. Okay. Also, we repair this thing. Get in it. Got full oxygen. Get out. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Alrighty. Blueprint acquired. Oh, that's Integrate it. New PDA data. I'm not reading. What the hell? Is that it? Oh. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, don't tell me that there's this huge thing and they don't fill it with stuff. Oh, this is so disorientating. Leave your bets down below. Am I going to get lost and die? Or am I actually going to know how to get back? I know what one I'm betting on. Is there nothing in here? Bro. What? <laughs> oh. No? Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, okay. Look at this. I know my way back. I know my way. Uh, mostly. Mostly know my way. I know my way. Come on, get, get up there. Alright. We're gonna bring this thing close. It's just so disorientating. Like, you don't know where you're going. Come on. Let me in. Come on. Oh my god. Alright. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still don't know what the hell that is. Oh, there's another? Bro, I can't see. Another PDA, hell yeah. Oh, let's go. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, once you got out of So many words, so I'm not reading all that. 
Nope. It's not a potion cannon. Alright. Ooh, poster? Oh, I gotta I gotta pick it up. Gotta I don't need that. Hell yeah. I never knew that there were posters like in these areas. I probably missed those so many times without even realizing. Alright. What the hell am I? No! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh my god. Bro. Did I just come from here? I think I just did. No, this is the right way. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, okay. We're good. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try and get over there. This one, if I remember. Gee, I don't really remember. <laughs> Actually, I know what one that is. That one has a lot of stuff around it. I probably want to save that for another time. Not saying that, like, it's scary or anything. Just saying it has, like, a lot of resources, so my inventory is, like, full. So, I'm not scared. No. <laughs> I'm not scared. Or, could we go down there? Because that's, like, your story. Because when you find, uh, whatever knife pod that's right around here. Whatever that, you know. One that I, or whatever, I put 17. When you find that one, you're supposed to be like, ooh, let's go down into the deep area in the cave. But nope, I'm like, you know what, let's do other stuff and then we'll forget about that and then we'll go down there. <laughs> but that's how you start up a, whatever, the, the gassy, I think. The crew of the, the gassy or whatever. So I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure, like, the, like, one of the trailers for the game, it talks about that crew. Like, you're in the perspective of that crew, you're not actually in the perspective of your player. Something like that. Don't think that's right, but I'm gonna say that it is. Uh, I think, because now I have the modification station, that is something I need to build. Because then you can make this little fella, the seagull, I go deeper. So that's actually huge. Because we can only go 200 meters, that's not that deep. Like, a lot of the stuff that we have to go to, like 250, the other one's 300. Now we can't really get there yet. We can, but, you know, not like we should. 